Hi, my name is Jessica Bellafato and I'm here at my yoga studio, Kamadeva Yoga in East Hampton. I'm going to be demonstrating for you today uh, the use of the legs and then translating us into our handstand, into our full arm balance. So we often think of inversions as arms, 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 but in fact we have to also focus on the work of the legs and opening up the hamstrings is key, one of the keys to be able to successfully uh, pull yourself up into handstand. So we're going to start lying on our backs and it's nice to use the wall because the wall then becomes like a floor for the feet. So the feet have something to reach into, to engage into. So lying on our backs, we have a strap and we're keeping the left foot pressing into the wall as we draw the right leg into the chest, lassoing the right foot and stretching the right leg up into the air. So here we are in Supta or reclined hand to big toe pose. Now, this leg becomes really obvious because we feel all of the resistance in this leg. We feel, oh, my hamstrings are tight, my calves are tight. But as much as this leg becomes our focus, we also want to keep our attention in the left leg, in the leg that's on the floor. So as we draw in with the right leg, as we pull the right foot closer to the face, we're not letting the left thigh pop up. We're going to press the back of the left thigh down and keep reaching that foot into the wall even as the right leg comes in. Now, we have steady steadiness. We have a lot of work going on in the legs, but we also want to find some ease in the posture. So snuggle the back of your skull into the floor, soften your eyes, soften your jaw, release the skin of your face, but engage and work the legs, spread the toes, and open up the hamstrings, the back of your knee and your calf muscle. So here we are, and then we'll switch sides. We can just take that strap off that foot and let that leg float down. Now, oftentimes, because we really opened it, it feels longer than the other one. So I have to sort of adjust myself a little bit, draw the left knee into the chest, lasso the foot, stretch the leg straight up, second side. Breathing in through your nose, you breathe in and you can press the back of that right leg down moving the breath down the body on the inhalation and on the exhalation, pulling the lifted leg a little bit closer to your chest, to your face, breathing in and breathing out. And then your awareness, again, it's going into the resistance that you're feeling in this leg, but uh, scan your body with your awareness. And taking that leg down, lowering that leg down. So now we'll see how that will help us get up into handstand. Hug the knees into the chest, Rock yourself up. We're going to come to our hands and knees with our hands a few inches away from the wall. If you're too close, you tend to pop back off the wall. So come away a little bit, a couple of inches. Spread the fingers well. Your hands are now becoming your feet. So spread the hands well and connect the palms of the hands into the earth. Press back to downward facing dog. Step one foot in and you'll have a preference as to which foot you want to step in. So you'll instinctually step one foot in uh, before the other. Lift the other leg up. Now, a little bit of a push, but notice if my hamstrings are tight and this leg is way down here, it makes it getting up much more difficult. Pull your lifted leg up really high and then try to kick from there. So we might not get up on the first try, so we're just hopping and hopping. And then just for practice, we'll do the other leg as well, just to be even on both sides. So hopping. Now, when we do get up, if we do get up, we'll stay there, we'll go up the wall, we'll drop the head, go up the wall, and then just to emphasize the opening of the backs of the legs, it's kind of fun to pull one leg down as if you were in split pose, as if you were doing Hanumanasana. So you'll pull, pull, pull one leg down, all the while trying to keep the other leg up the wall, opening up the hamstrings from there. We can just take an easy forward bend, shake out the head, soften the knees, Roll all the way up to standing and uh, Supta Padangustasana handstand. Thank you.